This isn't about me. Welcome back to Making Everyday Magic. My name is Shauna, and if you are new here, we are a homeschooling family of four. We are in our eighth year of homeschooling. I have a seventh grader and a third grader for the 2024-2025 school year. And today, I just wanted to pop on and share with you, remind you, remind myself, that we do not have to suffer a win. Guys, before we go any further, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. So, <laughs> I recently shared about our struggles, our first impressions of the new Algebra 1 program that we're using for 7th grade from Matthew C., the Principles of Secondary Mathematics. Now, this is new to us. Um, it is a new format to Matthew C. It's only the second year that it's been in production. And based on context clues, I think it might be the first of like a new wave of that same style of programs being introduced from Matthew C. So, If you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link it right up here. I'm going to suggest that you give it a look. And this video is not going to be about math. It's more about the lessons that we've learned from this struggle with math. Okay, so at the end of week one, I mean, first day, we had literal tears from a child who she's doing algebra one in seventh grade. So that in my brain, is ahead of where she would be if she were in public school. She is good at math. She has a good, good time figuring out math. She, I think in sixth grade, had a few struggles that started to shake her math confidence. And we've had a lot of discussions reminding everyone in our home that a positive attitude impacts the way that you learn. So this is a struggle and we are not accustomed to struggles, which is maybe part of our inability to handle this one um, very well. So basically we struggled, quite struggled. We took an early year vacation, which is out of our norm. And I'll be sharing about that. I think from the time you see this next week, but it allowed us to kind of pause. So my video about our experience, first impressions of Algebra 1, PSM, went up while I was gone, while we were gone, while we were traveling. And I got a lot of feedback on that video. And most of it, I would say the initial, I don't know, half dozen responses was, all of them, every single one said, look at Denison, look at Denison algebra. And I was, I, I think I've heard of it, uh, not familiar by any means. And so I was like, you know what? Hmm. So we went on vacation. It was kind of a weird timing. It was Monday to Monday. So, and our flight got in at like Tuesday morning, technically. Um, and then we had a bunch of stuff to do and recovering and things like that. So we just, we had two weeks off of school after like, three weeks of starting school, which is not something I'd ever do. And we're going to discuss my regret on that situation next week. But that second week, being home, getting readapted, all of that before jumping back in gave us an opportunity to, I went ahead and I did look into Denison and I was like, well, format styling, it's pretty the same. Okay, you do the video, you work the sheets in line with the person. I looked at the scope and sequence. For Denison, I felt like it would take until chapter seven for her to get to where she was learning new stuff from what she already knew with our Matthew C. experience. Looking at the scope and sequence, Matthew C., jumps in much deeper. Honestly, it's like a fire hose. Jumps in much deeper, much faster, like immediately. 
no going back over anything. Um, and it just, it felt more rigorous, to be honest with you, which is where I struggled. I struggled in looking at these two options, being willing to say, not easy, we've used the word, thrown the word easy around a lot, but I think simple is the right word. The simple method versus the more rigorous method. For me, I was like, why would we choose this? If they're so, so far until she's learning something new, it also doesn't divide out nicely into the year like I had planned and we've already started. Why would I spend more money? And I'm looking at the two and I'm struggling and I just had the realization, this is not about me. It's just not. So I put it to my daughter and she, honestly, my husband and I, we sat down, we looked at it, we looked at the whole website, we looked at everything, all of us together. We pulled up, you can do one free week of trial through Denison, so I pulled up the videos, we could jump right in, I printed the sheets for the first week. It's like, okay, let's do this. So we started that in that second week off, we kind of started a lesson or two and we all watched together and did it. And she's like, well, this is dumb. I don't want to do this because like I already started the other one. And so I understood because we'd already started the other one. But there was a point in going over that. And, and my husband and all of his infinite wisdom was like, if getting this new program turns the tides for us, restores our confidence, helps us feel good about math again. He said the $175 is a drop in the bucket. It's worth it. It is worth it to him, to us, to her, to our experience, to all of it, to give it a shot. So he's like, go ahead and order it. We'll see how long it takes to get here, which it got here, I kid you not, like five days faster than they had quoted me, which was amazing because now I'm you know, scheduling, how will we get it all worked out? What will we do? So she's still working through the free program. Um, and it, again, it got here so much faster than I was, in, I think the quoted time was like the end of the next week and it got here like the beginning of that week. So it was awesome. It was just like perfect timing. And so she went ahead and started with the Denison program. The things that Denison says right there in the beginning. This symbol means keep it positive because you can't learn anything if your brain is negative. We've been saying that. She keeps saying, she kept saying, easy, it's easier. It's just, it's just easier, it's just easier. And again, I think it is simpler. It is a simple delivery. Now we are off of the timing that I had envisioned. So that does take a little bit of of revamping our whole program. So start at the beginning, we're not cutting any corners, which there's a symbol for that. We're not skipping anything. We are just starting at the beginning and doing one lesson every single day, every single day, even on weekends until we can catch up where it would space out correctly for our weeks and then we'll take the weekends off. But for right now, every single day we do one lesson. And I can tell you the lessons are shorter, the lessons are simpler and, 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 She's enjoying herself with math again. There is nothing better than to watch your child go from struggling and tears. And she was still persevering. She was still doing it. She was still giving it her best shot. She was still working it, even though it was hard and it was long and it was drawn out to go from that to not just, not just enjoying her final, you know, grade on a sheet or whatever, but to enjoying the process, liking the videos, enjoying the instructor, enjoying every step of the way. So much better. Night and day. And again, it was on me to recognize and this is, this is what I want to share in my own struggle because this hasn't happened to us before. We haven't. There's been things uh, like with Mazdas where at the end of the year, I decided not to continue with it the next year. We or there's been things we've quit, but there's not been a subject where we, this curriculum piece, this method isn't working for us and we pivot and do a new of that same thing. 
We haven't had that yet. This was our first go of it. And I had to let my baggage of that go. And that baggage was time we've already invested, investment, money we've already invested, and learning a new thing. And granted, it probably helps that the Math UC program we were using was new to us anyway, like that format was new to this. But I wanted to come here and I wanted to share with you the moral of the story is that there's no reason to suffer a win. Would we have won in the end? Absolutely. Would she have learned algebra? Absolutely. Would it have been miserable every step of the way? Absolutely. It was a huge fight to get through four days of math and now she's enjoying every single day of the week of math. There is no reason to suffer the win when you can enjoy the win. There is a way, there is a piece, there's something out for. And I want to remind you, you know, the pivot or quit it. We, we tried changing things, but there was no way that I felt we were going to get to a place where this was the thing that best served us. And so I'm glad, I'm glad we quit, honestly. It's not what I would have chosen. And even after starting the research, I didn't think we were going to do it. Honestly, 100%. But I had to let that go. I don't want them to suffer the win. If the entire experience is terrible, are, are you really winning? No, you're not. Are you really learning? Probably also no. I do plan I'll be back soon to share an in-depth look inside Denison. I think it's a couple weeks from now. And do a full deep dive, show you all of the stuff, give it its own do video, the whole thing. This video was about suffering the win. And we don't have to, we just don't freaking have to. Um, and me letting it go, letting my stuff go. And I'm glad, I'm so thankful, I'm glad we did. It's been wonderful, okay? It's been wonderful. We, um, she's just starting chapter two. She just finished her first test yesterday on a Sunday, did her first end of chapter test and got every single one right. All around, all around we are celebrating. And I, that, that is what I want you to take away from this. There's an answer out there for you. There is, there's an answer for all of us. You have to be willing to find it and you have to be willing to let go in the pursuit of something better. And that's where I struggle because we had invested. We'd invested so much already. Was it worth more investment? 100%. Absolutely it was. Guys, I hope that you found any of this helpful, entertaining, or informative. If you did, please scroll down, hit the big red subscribe button, turn on the bell for notifications, and give this video a thumbs up. As always, you can find me right on down in the comments or over on Instagram at Making Everyday Magic. Please share down in the comments. Um, what is the thing? And, and don't get me wrong, there's tons of people out there who love math. See, tons of people who prefer the new, new thing. That's great. It just wasn't for us. What's the thing that for you was the light bulb moment? Wasn't about me. It just wasn't about me. Um, and that was good enough and it was worth it. So what's your thing? What's your either we, this didn't work for us. We found this instead, or this method didn't work. We prefer this style instead, or this was my light bulb moment when it comes to being the person in charge of the homeschool that got me to the other side. We don't have to suffer the win. Okay. So what was your easy win, your enjoyable win share down below, because we all need to hear it. We all need the motivation. We can all be reminded of these things. Even me eight years in come here and share with you. Like I pretend I know what I'm doing. I don't. We can all, we can all hear it. So please, please share because I love to build these motivational things where it's just simple reminders. We could all use them more often. Bye guys.